for today uh, we are discuss about the uh, sweetening process in the natural gas industry so in which we have to discuss about uh, the meaning of the acid gas why the removal of acid gas is necessary and the classification of sweetening process and the factors for the selecting sweetening processes so the first definition that is what is acid gases so the acid gases can be defined as the hydrogen sulfide and the carbon dioxide mixture they are treated as acid gas because it reacts with the water to form the acid so that is a basic simple definition and why the h2s and co2 that is the acid gas removal is necessary so the corrosive this nature of the hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide in the presence of water that is the main reason for the removal of the acid gases the second reason is the toxicity of the hydrogen sulfide and the third one is the lack of heating value of the carbon dioxide so hydrogen sulfide is very much toxic and the, as far as the carbon dioxide is concerned it is act as a diluent for the heating value so normally the desired natural gas is required to contain not more than 4 ppm of hydrogen sulfide and to have the heating value not less than 920 to 980 BTU per standard cubic feet. So with the help of these two conditions, you can limit the percentage of the CO2 and H2S both. So H2S limit is 4 ppm and CO2 should not be as much as to dilute the natural gas less than 920 BTU per standard cubic feet. H2S removal, I have already told you that it is one of the very toxic one. So normally the natural gas contain up to the 0.3 percent of H2S, but we have to reduce the concentration of H2S up to the 4 ppm. And sometimes we have to add the uh, this H2S for the foul order at a very low concentration, as it is a very toxic. If you see the concentration ppm level, if uh, there are 100 ppm of H2S concentration in the natural gas. So within a 5 to 58 hours, the person can be dead because of the, if he inhales the, this much of the concentration. If suppose the concentration of H2S in the any gas stream is very high and if a person inhale that one, that gas, so within a 2 minutes, the person can be dead. So that is one of the very detailed, you can say very toxic uh, gas that is present in the natural gas. Along with that, H2S have the corrosive nature with the metal that is associated. Also on the combustion, it forms the oxide which is also corrosive and toxic. So overall, CO2 concentration we can also maintain up to 1 to 4%. So, in summary, we can say that we have to remove the acid gases from the natural gas. The removal possibility, that is the removal of acid gas is known as the sweetening process. Sweetening process means if you have to, if we have to remove the sulfur from the acid, gas, uh, acid gases from natural gas, it becomes a sweet in the sense of uh, their orderness. So that's why we, we call it the sweetening process. Uh, there are more than 30 natural gas sweetening processes available in the market, uh, depending on the different types of the criteria and different functions. If you look over the classification of the separation processes, so we can categorize in the three different ways. Number one is non-regenerative process, and the name suggests that, such as a came sweet process, and CA process, slurry sweet processes. Since all these one. The, they all are the non-regenerative means where the solvent cannot be regenerated. So the material used in treating the gas are not recovered in these processes. Means the huge amount of the materials are required because there is no regeneration is there. So the second process is the regeneration uh, of the regenerative process with recovery as H2S. These include the physical absorption process, for example, water wash process, like salt process, flow solvent, etc. The amine process is also an example of regenerative with the H2S recovery like low ethanol amine, diethylamine, diglycolamine, etc. Hot carbonate process, for example, Benefield and Catacarb, these are the two names 
alkacid process, molecular C process. All these processes are example of regenerative processes where the materials are uh, regenerated again and again for the application in the removal of the H2S. The third one is the regenerative process with recovery as elemental sulfur means you have to convert the H2S into the elemental sulfur. For example, Holmes step 4 process, Yampro wet rope work process. So they, these processes are acquired a prominent role in the desulfuration processes because they have the recovery as well as the elemental, uh, elemental sulfur recovery also. 